we've been at Gitex for many years and we're, and we're here in full force. You know, it's been an interesting few years for, for all of us actually with the you know, various different circumstances that we've had to you know, put up with. But we're here in full force, uh, we're in Hall 6, we've got quite a large you know, stand there where we're showcasing a lot of future technologies, technologies that are even a few years of, you know, away from kind of where we are today, like quantum computing, the metaverse, some of the technologies that we're starting to see now. But, you know, really where we are is, it's been a challenging, obviously, few years. Um, customers were thinking about, you know, what next? and you know, what's going to happen next. But you know, where we are now is really customers are, are really around how do we you know, thrive in the new normal? And the new normal is, is, is something that we've heard a lot of people talking about, the new normal. But the reality is that we are working differently than we were a few years ago. Uh, we're acting differently, we're living differently, and some of the changes that we're experiencing now I believe are going to be permanent changes um, and especially in the workplace as well. So what we're really showcasing on our stand is kind of like I guess four you know, main areas. So we've seen these changes over the last few years and how do we get customers now to thrive in this like, new normal? And the first area is really around your people. Now, it's either your employees or your customers, or you could call them the, you know, your end users. And you may have people come into the office, you may have many, many people staying at home nowadays, or a little bit of a mix of both. We call it hybrid working now, and even at Dell Technologies, we've really embraced hybrid working. And high, working is, is, is less about you know, where you go now, but it's about you know, what you do. And it doesn't matter, you know, traditionally where you are, and also traditional timing has sort of gone out the window. And it's all about outcome. Like as, an, as a manager myself, I'm looking at my team, and it's really around, okay, well, I'm asking you to do a certain thing, and does it get done in the time frames? And whether you're doing that at home, in the office, late at night, early in the morning, that's fine. I'm not going to be checking up on you. So, one of the big things is the embracing this hybrid workforce, but also making sure that you have the right technology to be able to do that. Do you have the right products? Do you have the right security? Um, and can people work product productively you know, as well? The second area is, is around you know, data. Data's everywhere now, and we say, you know, we've kind of gone away from organizations that have data centers sitting in their office only. Data's everywhere now. Data's sitting in your car, data's sitting on various different edge devices, and, and companies need to be able to collect that data, um, access, analyze that data, and, and try and find out, well, how do we you know, gain insights from that data as well? But how do we do it in a, in a quick fashion? And then the third area is really around multi-cloud, and it's really our customers embracing the cloud but our customers embracing cloud, which is good for them. Now, it could be cloud, which is uh, hybrid cloud. It could be private cloud, uh, public cloud. It's really whatever's good for them you know, and their customers. And the fourth area is security. And I think you know, that's a, been a, yeah, and it's been a topic that's been around for you know, several years now as one of the most important. Uh, but with data everywhere, with people working from home, being able to keep your data secure, you know, wherever it is, is incredibly important. So those are the kind of things that we're talking about. We're talking about today's challenges. We're also giving our customers a bit of a glimpse into the future of well, what, is, what does future technology look like, you know, as well. Security definitely pops up, you know, very high on the studies and agendas and surveys, but what we're finding at Dell is those four areas, once you sort of like bring them together, that's really where we see organizations, I guess, designing their breakthrough thinking into the future. So I, I wouldn't, they're all equally important, that's for sure, but security is something that, we've seen so many examples over the, the last few months, even the last few years around security breaches happening, uh, so that is, I guess, the one that is getting the most attention is really around security. But the four areas working 
in combination together, if you can work on those four areas, that's really where customers and you know our services and organization as well is really starts around you know our breakthrough thinking and how do we serve our customers better, how do we serve our employees better, you know, as well. I think from a Dell Technologies point of view, you know, organizations that are building these metaverse universes, I suppose, they're going to need technology. So we're there to sort of create the, the infrastructure that makes a lot of this possible uh, in, you know, in, in the future uh, as well. We've got a demo actually on our stand uh, with a local partner uh, demonstrating some sort of metaverse technologies on how people are embracing this sort of today. You know, some of the areas today are around, you know, how, how do you do training for people? Is it physical training or can you do it in a virtual metaverse type you know, environment as well? But like I said, these environments, these virtual metaverse environments are going to need the underlying technology and that's where we have a role to play at Dell Technologies. So yeah, marketing's been a, you know, a very interesting industry to be in for the last many years. I've been in the industry over uh, 20 years and we see lots of different trends and technologies come in and out and some being a particular flavor of the day or flavor of the month as well. But what I do tend to think is that there are certain fundamentals that will never go out of fashion. Knowing your customer, demographics, um, if you even go back to say the traditional four P's of marketing as well, you know, those have been around for many, many years. They're never going to go out of, you know, of fashion. What we have certainly seen over the last while um, with you know, events, you know, these physical face-to-face -face events, traffic is bad, some people can't get to events. So trying to embrace also hybrid, even hybrid events now. You know, in the Middle East, we certainly see a, a, a big demand for these face-to-face -face, you know, events still, but we also see a balance of people that can't afford to be in the traffic, they can't afford to leave the office or leave their home, and they want to be able to join in a virtual way as well. So trying to find a, the balance, and again, going back to understanding your customers, where, how do you get to them on their level, and, and obviously where they want to be? Some people don't want to come to an event. Some people are quite happy to sit behind a desk and join an event virtually. Some people don't want to join an event virtually. So it's sort of trying to find these middle grounds or these balances between what many different people may want to do and as a marketing organization trying to be in the, I guess, the watering holes where these people are. Whether it be online, whether it be physical, whether it be uh, this event, that event, this particular industry event, um, and trying to find those, those, those sweet spots. Obviously over the last few years we've seen a big push on digital and, and trying to get to people in a digital manner. But on the other hand, we've seen a bit of digital fatigue as well. During the, the whole COVID process, uh, during the whole COVID uh, era, I suppose, we saw uh, an influx of online events and then there was a lot of fatigue around these events and people just wanted to get back to face to face again. And digi digital, I guess, saturation, uh, there's, a, I guess, a war for people's attention as well. And that's something that marketeers have had to navigate for many years and, and those things are still there as well, trying to find the best tactics to get to the right people at the right time, you know, in the right way. And it's kind of what keeps marketing interesting as well. I think there's always new fads, there's always new technologies, there's always new, but like I said, the fundamentals will always be in fashion. If you look at like the four Ps, if you look at some of the traditional marketing models from the textbooks, you know, attention, interest, desire, action, that was a model that was invented over a hundred years ago. And that's still quite relevant today. Over the years, marketing of marketing people like myself have bolted on things, you know, to it, like you know, attention, interest, desire, and action. We tend to bolt on loyalty at the end in there as well. Some of those things are very relevant. Like once you've got someone's attention, once they've actually continued with a purchase, it's like how do you keep them loyal? But I think that going back to the fundamentals, the fundamentals will always still be in fashion. So. You can certainly tr experiment with new techniques um, and new technologies, but keeping your eye on the fundamentals will always be in fashion. Well, our Dell Technologies, I would say it's our end-to-end -end portfolio. 
So it's, it's our customers being able to have multiple conversations, but with one vendor. So whether it's on like those four subjects we talked about, whether it's a multi-cloud, whether it's about my workforce, whether it's about uh, data and edge and new technologies or security, we're one single vendor that can have all of those conversations.